guys welcome back to another video on the channel honestly guys time flies by i was on my snapchat looking through memories and i noticed three years ago at this time on halloween i got my rhinoplasty in kurdistan so it's been three years and i'm here to answer all you guys' questions so on a daily i get a lot of messages from you guys um asking me just questions about the rhinoplasty because you've obviously got it done or you feel like you have some issues and you just want to you know talk about it and Honestly, like there are so many messages and I try to reply to all of you guys But sometimes I just cannot because there's like literally so many So that's why I wanted to do this so you guys can you know, obviously ask me whatever you wonder So let's go ahead and start So the first question is for how long did the swelling last? Like when did you start noticing it shrinking? It's so different obviously depends on how much work you get done to start off with and obviously like how your body reacts and everything But I think like the bridge of my nose it took like about a year But then I still had some swelling like on the rest of my face like my cheeks and stuff were still a bit like swollen from day to day But probably you could see like the bridge of your nose after a year Someone asked how is your breathing and I think this is the most common question that I got Just to put it this way before I went into surgery my nose was perfectly fine I never had struggles breathing. Um, I remember when we were talking to my doctor, my mom was really like nervous about that topic while I was just like, I don't care. Like it turned out to be like she thought, I have so many breathing issues right now. I honestly just start living with it. Like it's so sad to say, but I feel like it's just gotten like a part of me like whenever I sleep on this side, I'm struggling. I need to either put my finger like this to hold it up or I'll just you know sleep on my left side. So it's just basically what it is like I don't I don't know guys honestly like it feels like I've got a cold all the time. It's like if you listen Like that is me being normal. Someone asked does the shape continue changing after years or does it go back to your old nose? So um as I've mentioned before, your nose can sometimes go back a little bit to like how it's like looked in the beginning. I'd say the results after a year is probably the results you're gonna have like for the rest of your life. Like obviously, unless someone like hits your face and kills you, then it's gonna change. But like, um, unless that, then you'll be fine. It's just gonna be the shape that you, you know, initially saw. Someone asks, if you'd be 100% honest with your nose job results, what are you happy with and what are you not happy with? I feel like this is a really good question. I initially got my nose job because I was so unhappy with my side profile. It was a bump, it was way too big for my face overall, and I just... I wasn't confident so this is the reason to why I got my nose job I never thought about it being like deviated from the front or like my breathing issues like literally that was like not even a problem for me but now that I've actually gone through surgery I can see a lot more problems so what am I happy with my side profile I am so 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 happy with like honestly I get so many compliments about it as well I love it from the front, it is not straight. I'm not happy with it from the front. I mean, it's cute and all. If you look at it in a video like this, you probably wouldn't notice. You'd just be like, that's a cute little nose, but there's much more than that. My nostrils are not the same size. Uh, I was so bashed in my nose job video, my first one about my nostrils. And imagine going through like such hard times of actually seeing your face in the mirror, hating it because you feel like you look like a pig. And on top of that, your nostrils are literally two different people. People. like they're not even friends or cousins none of that so on top of that people commenting all the freaking time being like your nostrils are so uneven like bitch I know it's my face obviously I'm unhappy about that also I'm very unhappy about my breathing because obviously it's so annoying like I don't know like can you just imagine living a life not being able to breathe and someone asked, does it really get smaller after one year? Oh my gosh, I cannot stress this enough. Like your nose isn't... Okay, listen. Unless you don't have any swelling whatsoever, your nose will change so much. It will get so much smaller and just much more defined. You cannot judge it the first week, the first month, not even the first six months because, hunty, it will change be patient okay this is also a really good question did you ever consider a non-surgical nose job so fillers before your rhinoplasty if not why when i did see my doctor the first thing me and my mom asked is 
is there an option for this? Can she get fillers instead? Because obviously it's much easier to go get some freaking fillers and then you're good to go. But yeah, we did ask and the doctor was like, a filler is more if you want to change something that is uneven. So if you feel like you have already a small nose, but you just like probably have a little bump or lump, you can change that with fillers. But for me, it was different because I feel like my nose overall was too big for my face from the front and from the side. So for me to have gotten fillers, it probably straightened it out, but it would still be big for my face. So I could have probably get it done and, you know, gone with my life, but I just feel like I, I wanted a small nose. Someone asked, girl, I have mine next week and I didn't tell anyone about it. Did you, did people notice it right away? I mean, it definitely depends on how much work you get done. Some people really be low-key about that kind of shit. Like, they just go get a little bump and lump removed and then they're good to go. Like, for me, it was like, <laughs> I literally went into surgery and came out like a different person. So, I don't know about you, but if you're going for a... Um, like a big operation, you just hate your whole freaking nose, and obviously people will notice, honey. Like, what do you think? It's a freaking surgery. So definitely I just tell people like straight away, why would you even hide that? I mean, I guess it's because you don't want to stress and like all of that kind of stuff, which I get it totally, but like I don't know. I, I just can't imagine going into surgery and not telling anyone. Did you like your nose after surgery or with the results? Did you like your nose after surgery or with the time it gets beautifully? I think what this person means is like, did you like it straight away or was it something that, you know, turned into something that looked nice? I, I, I just basically, I know a lot of people hate it straight away. Like when they take the cast and everything off, they just hate it. They're like, it's too piggy. It's the, like this. Like, guys, listen. You're not gonna love it. You were just under operation, like your nose, your face, everything just reacts a certain way. And you cannot judge it until it's been like a full year or like two even. So for me, I hated my side profile so much that when I saw it from the side, it gave me hope. I'm not saying I loved it. Like guys, I look like a mashed potato. Literally, it looked like a potato and someone smashed it onto my face. When I saw it the first second, I just bawled my eyes out. I cried so much. I couldn't recognize myself. It's a big thing. Be patient and let the time do its work. Like, it is an over time process. This is not, you go in and you look great. This is not lip fillers. This is not cheek fillers. This is operation. They will literally cut you open. And I had a open rhinoplasty for everyone's asking. Some people asked me about the whole taping thing, like how long are you going to tape your nose after you get your cast off and all of that kind of stuff. I think I taped my nose for three months um, in the daytime and the nighttime. The reason to why you tape your nose is because your nose is so soft straight after surgery and you need something to like to support it and like keep it in the place it's supposed to be so it doesn't like lean to one side or another. So I did tape my, try to tape your nose for as long as possible if you can do it for six months. Like even if it's just in the nighttime when you're sleeping, do it. It helps so much with like the structure of your nose and for it not to fall the wrong way. Um, so for anyone's asking, I probably did it for three months, but I would suggest taping so much. It's so funny because the other day me and my boyfriend were watching my old videos from like 2015 and stuff before getting my nose job. And I look like a complete, like, it's actually mind blowing. Like I'm going to try to put like a video or a picture up somewhere in the like frame right now. And if you do recognize me, then honestly, like, applause to you because I cannot recognize myself. I don't know who that is. Like, I never think you should get a nose job because, you know, someone told you to or because you want to impress on people or because, you know, just for the sake of other people, I beg you guys never go through such horrible thing for other people and human being. The only time you should get a rhinoplasty is if you feel like it is going to change your life in the terms of you feeling good about yourself. You're going to love yourself. You should love yourself even before, but it's so important to, you know, if you're doing it, 
only for yourself. So guys, I feel like that was my three years post-operation update video. Hopefully I did cover a lot of the questions um, that you guys had. I know there were literally so many questions in my DMs, but I tried to cover like the most important ones. So guys, um, I love you to bits and until next time, take care of yourselves and stay blessed. Love you so much. Bye-bye.